one thing I, I've heard you bring up before uh, that was a source of inspiration for you was your mother and her deep belief in you. Like, she saved all your clothes, all your old sneakers, everything you ever wrote. It was almost as though she was documenting your childhood so that people would be able to look back when you achieved greatness. It's it's so strange. I look back on it all now. She always knew that there was something. The hard part for her was to allow me to go find it, to go figure mm. out what that was. So as a young person, as a kid, it was like, you can do anything, you can do anything, you can do it. I mean, like, it was like every single night, you can do anything, you can do anything. You, I, I, you know, that was a, it was a thing that she laid on us. But when it came time for me to, to fly the coop, right, when it was time to say, hey, ma, I'm going to go and be a writer, I think that all of the baggage of growing up in the 1950s and 60s as a black woman in America, that trauma sort of pushes itself to the forefront. And her fear of one of her children living a life that might have been unstable, financially unstable, potentially emotionally unstable, was enough to cause a bit of a riff, a momentary riff. Mm. One thing she, she made clear was the hardest part about being a parent is that you you raise your children not to be followers, but you never take into consideration that that means that one day they won't follow you. And in that moment, you will either have to stand on your word or you'll be made a hypocrite.